Not a lot to talk about. Cole was pretty impressive in the second half. Uh, I jumped on he and Christian in the first half because he had two turnovers. Christian had four. Christian never really got in the flow of the game, but I think he's going to be fine. Uh, Garrison, 10 and 9, I, I do think we need to get more out of him than that. But basically, guys, it was the second half, it was Cole Hansman. I used to sit here sometimes say Tyler Hansbro carried us with Cole. Cole carried us tonight. We cannot depend on him being the only guy that's tough enough to get a rebound, tough enough to make a shot. But that was pretty impressive to say the least. And uh, I think what is it? it's the first time I've ever played just seven guys. Uh, you know, Huff had a minute and seven, and Walker had 14 seconds. I think it's the first time I've ever played that limited number of people. And, and my career, which has been a long, long time, I must be getting really cocky because I came out of the locker room and I handed my drink to the athletic director and told him to hold it, so I must be getting really cocky. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing else. Unless you saw the game, unless you could see it. You, you left Colin for the whole second half. I imagine that's another November 1st for you. I told him earlier today that I would try to give him a rest around one TV timeout in the first half. But, Maybe one in the second half, too, depending on the score of the game. He said, Coach, I'm ready to go 40. Uh, I don't want him to do that very often, to say the least. I want to give him a little more break than that, but uh, got to have the other guys that can step up because when he was out in the first half, I think it was awfully ugly for us. Somebody probably got a stat sheet that might tell you what the score was while he was out of the game, but I know it wasn't good. And uh, what was that? 2 to 12. Yeah, it's not good. Okay, so somebody's got to step up because I'm not going to play him like that all the time. But uh, what hurts us too is uh, uh, when B. Rob goes out, he was the most experienced perimeter player, and everybody says, "Well, he takes the two, three. That gives more time to Christian and Andrew." But also, I played Leaky more than I want to play Leaky, and uh, B. Rob was our third point guard. Uh, K.J. Smith only had two practices where he's gone full court. Uh, Robbie O'Han was the possibility tonight. And, not one of you guys ever heard of him in your life, but he was a possibility too. But uh, Cole's a tough kid, as I said at the press conference this week. He won the 12-minute run, won the, or it was uh, one of only two guys that passed the tough part of the conditioning test. Uh, he had the most impressive afternoon I've ever had in anybody in one of the day's conditioning. So he's, but I'm not going to do that very often. How are you going to stop it? Take him out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know you guys, we play, it's 30 or 40 game season. I'm not going to have a guy wearing out early in the year. I think I see a lot of kids in college basketball. I don't believe this load management junk that you hear about in the NBA. My God, maybe $25 million a year or something like that. My load's always going to be pretty light. Uh, but uh, I do believe you've got to rest some players during the course of the game and during some times in practice. And we've done that even with Cole. We've had him sit some of the practice sessions. and. Leaky up until, well, really even this week, Leaky was limited time-wise in practice. Uh, Andrew's been limited, uh, so, but uh, he's, he's good defensively, too. He didn't have the defensive game the day that he does sometimes, but he's good defensively, too, guys. What did Garrison do to keep Mooney from doing the things that he often does? Uh, Garrison's our best defender, so when Mooney was in the game, Garrison again, we tried to get him to guard him. Uh, Garrison didn't have a great game, but I mean, you know, it's how simple the game is, guys. Every day in practice my entire career, 32 years, 12 million games. We start practice with simple, fast break drill. Everybody gets in the middle. You come to stop at the foul line, and you make a bounce pass. And so we throw it to Garrison. He runs over the guy at the foul line. And we do it every day. And we'll have 105 practices in 32 years. You can figure it out. So we got to stop those kind of things. And uh, Garrison turned it over like that with the charge. And, Every day I've ever coached, I said, if your, ch ch your shoulder, and that's this part of your body, <laughs> hits that guy in the chest, it should be a charge. And that's what it was. And, uh, so hey, Garrison, uh, well, I'll have to wait and look at the film. I think he stayed down. I don't think that John got a single foul when he uh, faked up and Garrison stayed on the floor and tried to make it shoot it over him. But uh, what did John end up with? 10 points, 8, I mean, 10, to, yeah, 10 and 8. Uh, I'd take that every time because I think he's really good. I would imagine you'd take what you got from Andrew Playtech today every time, too, huh? Yeah, but I guys, I, you know me, I'm trying to play the best we can. Who's got 24? Uh, that's not acceptable. Okay, and it was his. Uh, but yes, Andrew made a big three, I think, right in front of our bench. That was really important late in the second half. They gave us a little cushion. 
but you can't dribble the ball left hand dribble it off and get out of bounds in the crunch time. Either. Coach, is it Cole's confidence that makes him so good? So no, early? it's his ability. It is. I mean, his toughness. He's uh, guys. It's, I'm confident. So you know what? I can't do what the crap he did. I couldn't do it when I was 20. I can't do it when I'm 69. I'm confident I can beat every one of you guys. I don't know if I'm good or not. Uh, but the ability and then his toughness. His toughness is something that uh, uh, that I've really appreciated since the first time I watched him play as a high school freshman. I think he's one of the toughest. Uh, uh, between those lines, during conditioning, during the simplest little thing, uh, that is one tough little nut. I used to call a couple other players that they were pretty doggone good. What was the story? Uh, what was the story with his goggles? Did, did he say something to you or did you say something to him when he took them off in the, in the first half or whatever? Were they bothering him or anything? I got no idea, but I thought he played better in the second half, so uh, my guess is he probably won't wear them again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Coach Braille. Be right in.